get some cruising in for this vlog. What's going on right now is my dad is currently helping me clean my wheels. Yo guys, welcome back to my videos and welcome back to the wide body episodes. Today we got a few things planned to do. Uh, first things first, I've been going over to the Daily Rise a lot. It's a local coffee shop just down the street. Super good. For some reason, I've just been really liking it more lately. So I'm going to head out there. I'm going to just grab a, like a little 16 ounce coffee. It's going to be amazing because I love to do that in the mornings. And with the wheels being on here, this car is kind of looking crazy. So check it out. I love it. It's like a monster subie. There's just so much going on. That's what I love about it. All right, guys, let's head out. As I was backing out, I heard a noise. We rubbed a little bit off this corner. I can see a little bit of a line right here. We're definitely gonna have to trim this off today, and I'm sure for the other side as well. Oh, this side's fine, but the driver's side is just compressed right now from the way we're coming out. We're gonna have to clean up some cuts today, which is kind of what I had planned because I figured I didn't have to do it anyway. So I guess let me try to get out of the driveway. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get frustrated a little bit. As they all looked at you. Did they all look at me? Hell yeah. Was I screaming? Yeah, you were. Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying, boy, let's go. All right, we are not going there. Bro, that would take an hour to get through that. What's the move then? Flip an Eevee. How many people? One, two, One, three, four, seven, twenty. I don't know. We are kind of struggling for my coffee adventure this morning. It's kind of been a struggle, for real. I decided to go to Dunkin' Donuts, and there's really only one reason I decided to come here. And the reason I decided to come here was because that is what is up. Subi. Are you serious? It's gonna be a line wherever we go, but this is gonna be the smallest one. All right, let's continue the vlog. Hi, STI. You are the only reason we came to this uh, this joint. So uh, keep looking fresh like you are. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. You're still dope, though. We're going a secret way. Oh, I already know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we have landed back at my house and we have plenty to do today on the Subaru. We got to adjust and fine tune some fender cutting. We have to finish my mud flaps. We got a bunch of stuff we need to do today, so let's get started. First things first, I think I want to jump on the fender cutting, uh, kind of just get that over with. I got my Dremel set out out here. So basically, I'm just going to take the Dremel and if, for instance, right here, instead of such a harsh line, I, I kind of want to just give it a gradual like curve so then it's not so harsh and then maybe limit from rubbing on this corner. Plus, if we give it a little bit softer line, we can probably go a little bit lower in the front if we need. You know, looking at this going straight down, it would probably hit the tire, but honestly, it might not even work like that once you lower it. Anyways, and then coming back here, you guys know we got to trim the back ends a little bit. So let me grab these safety glasses so you know. We're prepared. Let's go. Good catch on me, guys. I honestly don't know where the kit comes, and I think it comes up like this, but I don't want to cut this unless I have the kit handy and mounted so I can make sure I don't cut outside of the lines. That would be super bad, and I'm super glad I didn't do that, so let's just cut the back where we know we're going to be okay, and we'll move forward from there. I actually jacked up the car. It's fully jacked up. I need to remove the wheels, and I totally forgot to take off the rear mud flaps. I don't know why I did, but got them just kind of hanging out here, so we got to take those bad boys off. Let's go ahead. Let's dis mount this first rear wheel and we'll get right to it all right we got both side wheels off boom boom I just kind of let them chill over in the grass 
What I've been using to take off the mud flaps is just this little special stubby screwdriver. I don't know where I put it. Oh, okay. I just totally found out something dope actually. So on needle nose pliers, they usually have this little cutout divot right here. Um, it also kind of allows you to snip certain things because it's a little bit sharper right there. You see what I'm saying? But what I just used it for was the top of this clip was really struggling to come out and I just inserted it like that in squoze and it worked perfect and I was able just to pull it out of the bumper super, super easy and it saved me from breaking the clip. So there's a little tip if you ever if you ever wanna do that. All mud flaps are taken off. Sadly, I really don't wanna take them off and I love the look of having mud flaps, but for this build, we're gonna have to take them off. So that's totally okay. I have them all chilling and sitting right there. Moving forward and now the mud flaps are taken off. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trim that piece right there as well as on the other side so let's go ahead uh, grab the Dremel and start cutting away at that kind of just clean it up a little bit so we stop rubbing on it because honestly it's not the best thing to be rubbing on especially because it's so short I mean so sharp you can kind of see it's black on the tip there from my rubber so yeah we need to get rid of that ASAP That is by far a lot cleaner cut. Looks a lot better and it's gonna function a lot better. So let's go ahead and jump over to the other side. After cutting this side, it has opened the fender back up as you can see right here. So what I'm gonna have to do is now I'm gonna have to use some more sealant and clog this hole, but it should be easy because it's small. Shouldn't have to weld it. It's pretty tiny enough to where I could clog it up with some of the sealer, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that real fast just so I don't forget. So as you guys can see, I just take this sealer. Oh no, it got on my finger. And I kind of just work it in to where it clogs the hole. Wrap it around the bottom. Make sure it covers all exposed areas, just like that. Now that we got everything situated, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw the wheels back on and let's get the car back on the ground. And then we, I have some, oh, I have something to show you guys today. Uh, it's actually, it's in a way, a car part. It's gonna make the wheels look better. I've actually showed you guys this before, but I bet you guys all forgot what I got. So as soon as I get the car down, let's pull it up, and then I have something to finish off the wheels, making them look super good. So let's move on with that real fast. Hold on. I mean, let's go. I mean, God, that was clean, bro. Was it? Yeah. All right, dope. Had to run away from the power sprayer because it's super loud over here. I got some brand new valve stems for the wheels. They look super dope. I showed them in a few videos ago. I don't know if you guys remember. If not, check them out. If so, let's put them on right now. All right guys, those valve stem covers are officially installed. They look super, super clean. Nothing big you can really tell, but it's just a little highlight to the wheel setup. Here soon, I'm gonna be copying some new lug nuts. I'm not really sure on the pattern that I wanna go with. For sure, a gloss black. What's going on right now is my dad is currently helping me clean my wheels. I'm gonna be posting them on my Instagram story. I'll probably sell them to someone local. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna be posting the wheels up. I'm gonna be posting them on my story with some more information. So guys, go to my Instagram and be ready for my story because it's gonna be a sort of a first come first serve as well as I have a few other parts I'm going to be posting. My mud flaps and I have some carbon fiber mirror caps uh, that go on the back of your 2015 plus Super WRX or STI. Uh, you just have to have the reflector. I got them from a homie. I don't have the reflectors so they won't work for my car. Like I said, I'm gonna be posting everything on my Instagram story. So guys, be ready for that. Let's go ahead and clean the wheels right now. Yeah. 
See that? Yep. See this? Subi looks so good sitting there. They look good. Thanks for helping. Let's start. Let's start drying off uh, or working these ones. Very time consuming. Why don't you go get your own leg? <laughs> All right, we are done with everything here. We are now actually heading out to my grandpa's house. He lives kind of far away, but we're squatting up in Stone's truck. Um, yeah, I think he lives in Logan, so that's like 45 minute drive. Let's go.